Yo, what's up, man? It's the pod, and I'm back. Hey, like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Hey, man, um, I want, ooh, excuse me, I want to talk about these GT Cut sneakers. Now, um, I learned on the first group of GT Cuts that they were supposed to be the Kobe's, right? And at first, I wasn't paying attention to them. And I started noticing, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, okay, these do look like Kobe's. They're coming out with nice colorways, and this, these shoes would have been a great addition to the Kobe family. But I guess since they were, you know, litigating or negotiating what was supposed to go on with Kobe's estate, they didn't come out with the shoe. And they, I guess they revamped the shoe without Kobe's logo. But uh, I started getting to the point where I started seeing them a lot. You know how when you see people with them a lot, or with a shoe a lot, and it's you kind of on the fence. After a while, you start to like them a little bit more, or you start to see them more online. And I was like, yo, I gotta get, start getting these pairs because they sell them out online, and also the resale value on them is going up. And um, I want also just want to try them on to see how they feel. And I got the first pair of these, my first pair was these pink ones. Yo, listen, you guys watch, I don't know if you guys like hoop or workout one, these shoes, <laughs> the colorway makes or break them, makes or breaks them, but if I was hooping, if I was a dude that goes to LA Fitness and 24 hour fitness and fitness connection or whatever else, and to play ball, like I haven't played ball in them, but I played ball in college and stuff, right? I can tell just by walking around them that these are probably really, 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 really good hooping shoes, right? Um, from the traction, because I kind of moved around on hardwood a little bit just to see. Um, the traction and all that, the cushioning on them. If you hoop in low tops, these shoes are amazing. But on top of that, aesthetically, these are really, really good. I picked these up from Dick Sporting Goods. I think they're like 170 online. They still have the larger sizes on Nike. They're sold out in the larger sizes. But at Dick's, I got these for 170. Really, really good shoe to have in my collection. Um, yeah, these are kind of like, people know that no shoes know that these are supposed to be Kobe's and these are really, really good. I also just got these right here. These GT Cuts, and they come in, they come in a box like this, and this kind of resembles, to me, kind of resembles the old Kobe boxes, but, yeah, man, this is a really, really good shoe. This colorway, um, I forgot which one it is, but, um, it's got, like, baby blue, Carolina blue, penguin blue in here, pink right there. What they really need to do, though, guys, what I'm waiting on them to do is put fly knit on these motherfuckers. If they put fly, knees up, fly knit on these, I'm going to go crazy. Bye. Um, I don't know what they're waiting on, but I just wanted to do a review on it. I know, to me, this is just a basic shoe. I'm probably just going to work out and lift weights and stuff in these and maybe do a little running. Or if I'm at the gym, I got my ball in my trunk, I go dribble up and down the court, do a couple of tweens and step backs by myself in the gym. But this is a really, really good shoe. I have three pairs now. I bought another pair from Dix and these on sale. And they sent them to me. No lie. No cap. They sent them to me in a bag. And it says it's from Golf Galaxy. From Dick Sporting Goods. Look, I'm not, I'm not making it up. This shoe came just like this in a box, in the mail. Just like this. I haven't opened it yet. But this is, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to open it up on camera. It came in a box. And they may have just been trying to get rid of inventory at this Golf Galaxy. As you guys can see, it says Golf Galaxy on it. At Golf Galaxy, they're probably just trying to get rid of these pairs for inventory reasons because they don't have a box for it. But 
These are really good too. And I was kind of skeptical about these at first, but when I see people in them, in the gym, they started to grow on me, man. This is a really, really nice shoe. It's really comfortable. The colorways are pretty good. Let me show y'all three. Of these. Get off of here. The colorways are pretty good. And um, yeah, man, I'm just hoping that they make these in. Um, they put some fly knit on these joints. If they put some fly knit on these, it's over. Like maybe y'all know it's some it's some pairs with fly knit on them, but to me. If they make pairs with fly knit, I'm buying all of them, dog. If the colorway is good, I'm buying them. Hey, man, go and get you a pair if you're a guy that likes hooping shoes. Um, also, low tops, Kobe's. Like, you can actually, you can definitely wear these with outfits. You can put together a cold, nice little outfit. It goes good with athleisure wear, like, you know, tick fleece pants and, and, and uh, hoodies and all that stuff. It goes well with that, but this is... It's, it's kind of like a, it's not cut as low as the old Kobe's, where it's, it's cut like straight across and it's lower, but way below the ankle, it's right at the ankle. But this is an amazing shoe in person, and it, it's extremely comfortable. And if you're, like I said before, if you're a guy that hoops, this will, I'm pretty sure, just from my judgment of sneakers, this is a probably a really, really, really good shoe to hoop in. If you guys have a pair of these, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Guys, you gotta get you a pair of these, dog. Like I, all the first GT cuts are extremely high now, um, to the point where it, they're, they're upwards and they're higher than like really sought after sneakers and stuff, man. Some of the pairs are reaching a thousand, twelve, twelve hundred bucks for pairs, um, and I think these GT cut twos are gonna catch on and they're gonna be worth a lot. In the future as well. Hey, I'm a style pilot. Like, comment, subscribe, and always remember you are the flyest motherfucker on planet Earth. I see you guys later.